It's not an international cafe, it's interior, interior night, cafe night. That's the actual title, right? Yeah. So everybody's calling it internet cafe or international cafe or any. Anyway, so I was sent the script. I was shooting somewhere London. in India and uh, this silly girl sent me the script and said we want to shoot next week or something. And I wasn't able to do that next week, so I'd asked them to, because I really loved the script. Uh, it's very difficult to, to make a short film for the same reason it's very difficult to write a short story. It's easier probably to write a novel. But making a short film is very tough because you've got to say everything that you have to say in that limited amount of time. In this case, 10 minutes. Uh, I was intrigued by the idea because I hadn't done it. 10 minute film before, except in the institute. And I loved the idea. So I just said yes on instinct, like I say yes to any other project that I do. I didn't know Adhiraj, I hadn't ever met him, but uh, I've never had any hesitation about working with newcomers. Do you think in that future in Bollywood? In Bollywood, I, I don't know about Bollywood, but there is a future because there are so many other. Uh, outlets now for uh, films which people want to make which do not get a commercial release there are many other outlets uh, there's cable there's YouTube there's you know all, all sorts of things so but what's important is that uh, all these young people are actually making films they're not just talking about them they are uh, whether it's they get a chance to make a five-minute movie or a ten-minute movie or a fifteen-minute movie. They're all grabbing at the opportunities and they're actually going ahead and doing it. And that is absolutely fantastic. And that is something we really will definitely pick up steam and something which should certainly be encouraged. So could you tell us a little bit about, about your role? Your role? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm playing myself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Shanaz is playing herself. <laughs> yeah, in a slightly in, in a slightly fictionalized scenario. Yeah. Yeah. But but it's we weren't asked to play characters. Mercifully, we were just <laughs> we were just to uh, to embody the two people who Adhiraj had thought of. Yeah. So you think more Bollywood stars perhaps should do uh, short films so that the short film culture is, is encouraged more? Well, probably not because uh, <laughs> because Bollywood stars bring a lot of baggage with them and uh, they, they, they alter the, the odor of a movie, you know. <laughs> odor. Odor is the word. Yeah, I think, see, it, it will be very sad the day that uh, um, young filmmakers, in a way it will be sad, in a way it will be good. Young filmmakers like Adhiraj get an opportunity to make big budget movies. Of course it will be good for, their, for them and for their careers, but it will be sad because somewhere they will lose contact with their real strengths, as has happened over and over again in the past with many interesting young filmmakers. So, uh, I can't say that I, I wish they never make big budget movies. But I wish that they, uh, uh, they, along with the, the generous budgets that they get, they also continue to make small budget films because it's, it's very important to continue making these kind of movies uh, um, because the, the success or failure factor counts on how much money you've actually invested in the movie. The less you invest in a film like this, the better because it's a bigger risk. was the inspiration, um, a, a girlfriend who left me 45 years ago. <laughs> yeah, truly. That's why I was touched by, by the story and uh, I think you have to find some kind of personal resonance in a script uh, in order to connect with it. <laughs> yeah. Imad. Yeah. 
प्रोसेस कितना बड़ा है मुझे नहीं मालूम प्रोड्यूसर तो डेफिनेटली नहीं मिला उसको एक्टिंग का भी शौक है वो ही हैज़ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट वो म्यूजिक में भी उसको उसकी कमाई म्यूजिक से होती है बीच बीच में एक्टिंग भी करता है वो फिल्मों में उसको एक्टिंग करना अच्छा लगता है इज़ क्वाइट कॉन्फिडेंट लेकिन अनश्योर अबाउट हिज एबिलिटीज मतलब अबाउट हिज चांसेज रहा था इज़ कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ हिज एबिलिटीज बट अनश्योर ऑफ हिज चांसेज तो वो अभी जरा सा इनडिसाइड अनडिसाइडेड है कि उसको जिंदगी में क्या करना है ऑफ विच स्क्रिप्ट नहीं वो नहीं नहीं मैं क्यों करूँ उसको करने दो So then, usually we see, uh, you know, uh, in a way, if I can say, the star kids benefiting uh, from all of this. So, I mean, you, you said he doesn't really believe in the chances. So, well, I well, I don't consider him a star kid, and I don't think he considers himself one either. I can't make a film for him, and if I can make a film, I won't make it. Because I'd like him to to to, to do it on his own. Where are you? किसी को प्रॉप अप कर सकते हो बहुत सारी मिसालें हैं जिनको ज़बरदस्ती मार मार के स्टार बनाया गया है बट दे स्टार्ट इन डिंट लास्ट बिकॉज दे डिंट हैव एनी दम सो लेट्स द आई आई बिलीव इन लेटिंग लेटिंग दैम फाइंड देयर ओन वे मेक लेट दैम मेक देयर ओन डिसीजन The experience was great, yeah. Like, oh, what, what else can I say? I mean, I, it was ideal for me when they actually they said yes to do the film, and they liked the script, and uh, and you know, uh, and I, at that point, I didn't know what I'm going to uh, really eventually do with the film, and they still had the trust. Chalo, let's do the film, and eventually, uh, we'll because they liked the script, and that was important for me. That just on the basis of the trust on the script. They wanted to do the film, and then experience was lovely because whatever I had imagined and written, they obviously did better than that on screen. Like whatever it was on paper, they took it somewhere else. And uh, and today, so thankfully, we found a platform also where to to actually like your Royal Stag Barrel Select like Last Shot Films is finally releasing our film online, which we made about two years back. We made this film actually, and uh, now it's um, uh, going to be online for everybody to get uh, able to see. So you know, so I'm happy. And what about you, ma'am? Like your experience. Uh, I think similar to what everyone said. I, I, I mean, I, I thought the script was really lovely, and um, I thought the script was really lovely, and uh, I, you know, uh, these two got in touch with me, and uh, uh, what I really uh, appreciated was that I think Adiraj was very, very clear the kind of film he wanted to make, had uh, extreme confidence in the way he was going to tell the story. um and uh, you know people contact you for short films uh, all the time but the thing is i knew ex- that he knew what he wanted and how he was going to make this film so that in itself gave me this you know great joy to do it and of course working with an old friend uh who was uh, an added added bonus how was the experience of working, uh, working with you yeah, sir so can get seen logo mila while shooting we've worked together we before ikbal Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm very bad tempered and <laughs> I shout at everybody. You know. Uske alawa. Uske alawa. No, I've been really lucky and fortunate that I'm working with Nasir Saab for the second time. Uh, Iqbal ke baad, kuch da saal baad, uh, Nasir Angul ke saath kam kar rahi hu. And um, Adhiraj, I've known for eight years now. We went to school together, and we thought of getting together and co-producing it and. Uh, Video script, uh, coordinating and approaching the actors. But personally, as an actor, uh, of course, it's a blessing to not once but twice work with him and with Ma'am. Although when you watch the film, you'll understand that I've not directly done a scene with them. But um, I think it's overall been a fantastic experience. It's been a great team that's come together. I think good things happen fast. It was one of those uh, uh, projects that started and uh, finished uh, before we knew it. So yeah I just really hope that it's out there and people like it now
Nasruddin Shah. Uh, so we would like to know about your role and your experience while working in this movie. Oh, uh, if there's one thing I really hate, it's uh, night shootings. And this film involved two nights. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't involve rain because that is the absolutely the worst combination. So the only doubt I had about doing this movie was that it would require me to stay awake for two nights consecutively. I find that very difficult to do. Um, but I loved the script so much and the thought of working with uh, a company like this, uh, acting with Shanaz, uh, being directed by a young man who I hadn't met before, it was all, it all sounded very, very exciting. And uh, I was very moved by the script when I read it. And uh, as you could see, there wasn't, I wasn't playing a character. I was more or less playing myself. And Shanaz was more or less playing herself. And the two youngsters were playing us. So they are the ones who had to play characters, okay. if anybody. <laughs> Ma'am, we would like to know about your whole experience on working on Interior Cafe Night. <laughs> um, it was uh, really enjoyable. I think it's such a sweet story and seeing it again now after this long period of time since we shot it, I realized it's really such a beautiful story. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, I think when we read the script, uh, it, it was uh, just so beautifully put. And I think in a short film or a short story, that's what you're looking for, you know, where it, there is an arc, there is something that happens that takes you to an ending. And in this case, the ending is, is so positive and so lovely. And uh, of course, uh, I, it, it was such a joy. Uh, I was so kind of skeptical working in a, in a short film and not sure how it would be, but uh, the, the entire production was so brilliantly organized, everything was so smoothly done and uh, so happy to see a director who knew exactly what he wanted. Um, there wasn't a question of, oh, I'm, you know, sometimes you get people, oh, we're working with people who've had so much experience behind them and then they don't say anything and, you know, you're left to do your work. Whereas here, I, Adiraj had complete clarity in what the story he wanted to tell and uh, how he want wanted us to tell it. He was very clear about the words that he wanted us to use in terms of the script and uh, that was really heartening and it was a, a really enjoyable experience. It was one night, not two. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd just like to add uh, something to what Shanaz said. The, the clarity of Adhiraj's vision, uh, testimony to that is the film itself. Because when I read the script, I wondered how uh, uh, he would get this idea across. That there's two couples sitting in the cafe simultaneously how is he going to uh, make it clear that this is a memory that's happening? And I thought maybe he'll resort to dissolves or something like that, but he didn't do any of that. And it's a very original manner uh, in which he's conveyed it. It, it hits you after a, a while that, hey, these are the, this, these two, actually. Uh, and I think that's very beautifully done. And uh, it's, a, it's a great, I mean, really uh, hats off to Adiraj for having such a clarity in his uh, cinematic vision, yeah. I mean, it w I was actually going, I had assisted in, in films for a while and I wanted to make, uh, I had made short films earlier as, as a student and I wanted to make a proper professional short film uh, where I get to tell my own story without any sort of interference in, in sort of pulling out my vision. And uh, so there began the journey of w wanting to tell a story first. Then came the story, uh, me and, and co-writer Saini, uh, we were um, uh, sort of brainstorming on what to do and I sort of had this idea in my mind that um, I want to do something, I, I mean relationship drama is sort of my zone, I think that's something that I like doing as well as do better than other genres. So I wanted to do something with couples and the memory getting personified uh, in some sense because uh, if you take it on a day when two, two people meet suddenly after a long time, um, there's so much going through. Uh, their mind, you know, and I wanted to sort of um, see if, if that can be personified in some way that can be explored in a different way that hasn't been done before. And uh, 
So in that process, we I wrote the script and we kept writing many times. We wrote many drafts before we actually approached them because we were like, I mean, somehow when I was writing the script, we I could just see both of them in the characters and like you know, um, the cast was more or less something that I was clear about and I was hoping. I was I never knew that they, the, uh, I wasn't sure, but I, before I approached them, I wanted to take many drafts at it and. In fact, what happened is after they actually said yes, which was great, so we started doing more drafts because we're like, now there's no excuse to make a bad film. You know, Nasir Rosh and Shanas Patel are doing it. Uh, Shweta and Naveen were casted. Shweta I, I, has been a friend so, so long and I wanted to cast her in this role. And she also decided to co-produce the film, so that was great. I, uh, you know, and, and um, uh, Naveen's work I'd seen before and I approached him. He also liked the script and wanted to do it. So I was like, now everything that I wanted I've got. I have to really work harder to, to get everything in place. So I think, yeah, that's where the journey began. and. Uh, we did a lot of pre-production, a lot of work. In fact, like Nasisa said sometime back that he was in London and he was he said that you're going to shoot next week, I won't be back, wait for one more week. And I was actually happy because I got more time to prepare that way because when I came to know he's doing it and Shanaz was doing it, I need a little more time to prepare. So yeah, that helped that we got a little one week extra to, um, to you know, prep. And we prepped a lot and then the post-production also took its time. Uh, shoot was one night, it's been that long that now it also <laughs> feels like two nights, but shoot was one night, but uh, post-production and everything one took time. Back. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I'm, I'm happy that now it's, it, when it came together, most people who saw it uh, really felt that it came together well, and now even two years later when you see it, like a director is always anxious, you know, I'm always uh, worried, like what are people going to think now, is it still relevant? Two years back I made it this way, today I might be making it differently, uh, but I'm glad that, you know, the response seems to be good even today. So, thank you so much. बहुत ही अच्छा जैसे ही अधिराज को मैं काफी सालों से जानती हूँ जैसे कि मैंने बताया हम स्कूल में साथ में थे और इस ट्रिप के बारे में इस प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में हम काफी बातें करते थे अधिराज इसे कांस्टेंटली से यार मुझे ना वो इजाजत वाली जो गुलजार साहब की फिल्म थी वैसी वाली एक फिल्म बनानी वो रिलेशनशिप लव ड्रामा जो एक होता है एंड आई ऑलवेज हैड नसीर साहब ऑन माय यू नो विश लिस्ट टू वर्क विथ हिम ऑल दो अधिराज ने उनके साथ एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म में काम किया था नसीर अंकल ने नरेट किया था देन वी बिन लकी दैट जब मैंने नसीर अंकल को ई भेजा था एंड ही लाइक द स्क्रिप्ट इमीडिएटली एंड ही सेट प्लीज़ आप लोगों ने एक स्केड्यूल रखा है बट उसको डिले कीजिए एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कम बैक टू इंडिया एंड आई वॉन्ट डू इट बहुत ही अच्छा लगा ऑल दो सिर्फ एक ही दिन का शूट था एक ओवर नाइट शिफ्ट का शूट था और जस्ट वर्किंग विथ हिम आफ्टर ऑलमोस्ट टेन ईयर्स काफ़ी काफ़ी यादें ताज़ा हो गई ऑब्वियसली इकबाल की एंड बहुत सारी यू नो बातें जो हम तब करते थे ऑल दो आई बीन ऑलवेज बीन कॉन्स्टेंटली इन टच विथ नसीर सर बट वर्किंग विथ हिम बींग ऑन सेट अगेन वर्किंग ऑन अ फिल्म एक अलग अनुभव होता है एंड रियली री लिविंग दैट वॉज वॉज ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस There's nothing that sort of dissolves. There are two couples in the film, you know. This, the, the entire process, the entire story revolves around them. Correct. And उसके बावजूद भी कहीं लगता नहीं है कि ये उस 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 you know technique of making के बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगी? Well, उसका जो technique of making है, although मैं audience के सामने completely uh, twist reveal नहीं करना चाहती, I want them to watch it. But ये जो two couples and one memory का जो एक illusion create किया था धीराज ने, I think it's complete credit goes to his writing and his uh, way of shooting it. और उसे जिस तरह से एग्जीक्यूट किया था तो उसने एक एक तरह का एक मैजिक क्रिएट किया था उस पूरे कपल्स को दिखाने उस उस कैरेक्टर्स को और उस मेमोरी को दिखाने के इस पर तो आई थिंक आई आई थिंक मैं पूरा पूरा श्रेय अधिराज जो हमारे डायरेक्टर उनको देना चाहूँगा ओके okay, आपने भी मेंशन किया यू नो एक इजाज़त वाली फील अधिराज चाहते थे जी तो आप शबाना बनी है या <laughs> ओह मैं सिर्फ शनाज पटेल बनी हूँ इस बार जी Okay. Uh, इसके अलावा वो जैन द पाइप है, you know, what's happening after a long gap we have seen sure. you, you, you. You haven't interacted with media so long. Oh, that's because uh, पहले तो इकबाल के बाद मम्मी पापा ने मना कर दिया था I was studying, तो graduation complete किया mass media and journalism में. और ड्यूरिंग दैट ये सारा शॉर्ट फिल्म डॉक्यूमेंट्री क्योंकि ग्रेजुएशन के टाइम पे ये मास मीडिया में हम पढ़ा पढ़ाई करते हैं तो मैंने एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म बनाई थी क्लासिकल म्यूजिक के ऊपर देन आई वाज वर्किंग विद फैंटम फिल्म्स अब वो जॉब मैंने क्विट कर दिया है एंड uh, अभी कुछ फिल्म एक साइन की है और एक टेलीविजन शो साइन किया है बट अबाउट दैट ओनली वैन द प्रोडक्शन अलाउज मी टू स्पीक अबाउट इट तब करूँगी बट एज ऑफ नाउ इट्स इंटीरियर कैफे नाइट 
and in a couple of months you'll know ki main hindi film kar rahi hu about that are you coming with a solo 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 film of yours it will be a solo film of yours uh, no out? it's got it's got uh, multi it's not multi star cast it's got uh, um, it's it, it's a different i mean usme uh, sirf main nahi abhi bahut sare log hain for more news and gossip don't forget to subscribe to bollywood helpline